So the patient in our vignette is diagnosed with meningitis secondary to Neisseria meningitidis. And this is a gram-negative non-motile diplococci. It has a number of features that I'd like you to know about before we move on in our next videos, specifically about Neisseria meningitidis itself and other species of the Neisseria family. In terms of Neisseria in general, they have an outer membrane that contains lipooligosaccharide. Um, this contains endotoxin in the form of lipid A, and we'll talk about it in relation to meningitis, but it carries out a number of the inflammatory functions of the bacteria, leading to petechiae and hemorrhage. It's worth noting that, unlike other gram-negatives, that Neisseria lack an O antigen in their outer membrane. Also, uh, in terms of their other characteristics, Neisseria are oxidase positive and catalase positive. A big part of their antiphagocytic mechanisms is that they have a capsule and so therefore can ward off and survive longer within the human body. There are some differences between the species meningitidis and gonorrhea and that relates to how they ferment glucose and maltose. Neisseria meningitidis ferments glucose and maltose, whereas gonorrhea only ferments glucose. Their growth also can be quite specific in that they require enriched growth media in order to be cultured. So for example, chocolate agar is a non-selective growth media um, that contains particularly blood agar in which red blood cells have been lysed by heating them to about 80 degrees. And this is useful for growing respiratory bacteria that have certain growth requirements that are not fulfilled by other agar media. So therefore chocolate agar is a non-selective media in culturing organisms such as Neisseria meningitidis. Thayer Martin agar is another agar that's used to culture specifically Neisseria. It contains chocolate sheep blood and antibiotics that inhibit the growth of other bacteria. So therefore, a positive culture on Thayer Martin agar um, will lead to the culturing or isolation of the Neisseria bacteria we've discussed. In terms of the antibiotics, and if you review our culture videos in our introductory videos to bacteriology, we go into this in further detail. But the antibiotics contained on the Thayer Martin plate consist of things like vancomycin, colistin, trimethoprim, and nystatin. And these tend to um, inhibit the growth of other gram-positive, gram-negative organisms and fungi, which then allows to you to isolate out the Neisseria bacteria, which may be in the culture that you've acquired. So that's it for Neisseria. Just recall the main characteristics of the bacteria. It's a gram-negative, non-motile diplococcus that lacks an O antigen in its outer membrane. It has a capsule, which is one of its main ways of impeding phagocytosis. Recall its different culturing uh, requirements. And then in the next few videos, we'll talk about the diseases its species cause.